Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with my beautiful wife, Karina, from Venezuela. Beautiful Venezuela. We went through the K-1 visa process, just like you guys. And we know it's a long, strenuous, stressful, tedious process. So we put this channel together for you. This is your YouTube channel to help you get through this K-1 visa process without having to pay an immigration attorney thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm not an immigration attorney. I don't give you any legal advice. I don't work for the U.S. government, USIS, State Department, but I got nine years of experience with K-1 visas. So come on along. This video is about how to uh, process a cover letter for your K-1 visa application. So you met a foreign national, Mr. American citizen, Miss American citizen. You want to get married to your future uh, wife or husband. And so you got to file a K-1 visa, right? Okay, when you file a K-1 visa application for U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, okay, you must complete Form I-129F plus any other required forms and or supporting documents and pay a visa fee. And the visa fee uh, will increase on April 1st, 2024. Now, it's not a requirement to include a cover letter okay, in your K-1 visa application, but I strongly recommend that you do, okay? We recommend that you do include a cover letter in your application. This will organize your documents, okay, and it will give you a checklist to go over, and it will also help the USIS immigration officer find the stuff in your visa package more quickly, which will speed up your K-1 visa application, hopefully, right? A cover letter basically outlines the information in your K-1 visa application and will direct immigration officers to review past circumstances you'd like to flag for them. Like you may have, this may be your second K-1 visa application and you want to give an explanation. You can use a cover letter for that. Now, Indiana Jones wasn't filmed in <laughs> Colombia. It was filmed in Mexico. We are the real Indy. Anna Jones. Let's say this is your second K-1 visa application. All right, stuff happens. Your first relationship didn't work out. Oh, well, move on. Don't be a victim, right? You can address your side of the story in detail in your cover letter. But, you know, if you're up front with USCIS, uh, you know, it gives greater clarity to your case. It, it, it helps them adjudicate your case much easier. And this will increase the success chance for your application. You should begin your Form I-129F cover letter with a heading and a greeting. Your heading must give USCIS officials your mailing address in the United States of America, your full name, and your foreign partner's full name, okay? And then you will write an introduction explaining the reasons for the cover letter. Well, what is this What is this cover letter for? It's, it's, you are introducing the USCIS officer to your uh, K-1 visa application and your relationship, an overview of your relationship together, okay? So let's get started. You're gonna have a cover letter. On the cover letter, you're gonna put, you're gonna, you're gonna write, who is it, who is it to? Well, you're going to use the to USCIS uh, at, in Louisville, Texas. That's who you're going to direct the cover letter to because the lockbox is going to be the first person to get it. All right. So you, 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 you address it to USCIS in Louisville, Texas, and then you put your full name as a petitioner, and then you put your beneficiary's full name. Okay. So you, so you address the uh, the cover letter to to USIS Louisville, Texas, the, the complete address, and then you put underneath there that you are filing a K-1, K-2 visa application if a K-2 is applicable. Next on your cover letter, you're going to put a list of all of your supporting documents, right, which you are including in your K-1 visa package, and you're going to list them in bullet format, just like a military evaluation. 
Okay, number one, you're gonna say, uh, this enclosed in this Ziploc bag is a check for however much it is for your K-1 visa. Number two, uh, form G-1145. This is a form that will ensure that you get a text message, message from immigration stating they received your K-1 visa package. And then you, Mr. Sponsor, must include evidence of your U.S. citizenship, you know, copy of your birth certificate, a copy of your naturalization, naturalization certificate, which is form FS-250, uh, an unexpired biographic page, full-blown color copy of your U.S. passport. Next on your cover sheet, your cover letter, you're going to uh, state, you know, this is a list of... Uh, Divorce decrees, original certified copies of divorce decrees, um, or annulment orders, or your spouse's death certificate. You must show evidence that you and your fiancé are both legally free and able to marry each other and that all previous relationships have been terminated. You'll need one color passport style photograph of yourself, Mr. Sponsor, Miss Sponsor, and you will also need a color passport style photo of your fiancé taken 30 days before you file the K-1 visa. So I was in Colombia with Karina and in April of 2022, I was with Karina and we went to the Bogota, Colombia, got a picture taken, a passport. Then I brought the pictures back to the United States and I filed for her K-1 visa in April of 2022. And the picture was taken about five days before I submitted the K-1 visa package. If you've ever changed your name, Mr. Sponsor, Miss Sponsor, if your fiance, if your beneficiary, if she has ever changed her name, you'll have to provide evidence of this legal name change and put it on your cover sheet. You will need evidence that you and your fiance intend to marry within 90 days of your mission, of, the, of her, his or her mission into the United States of America. Okay? This will also include letters of intent to get married from the beneficiary and from the sponsor. Okay? Both of you have to and include that, document that on your cover sheet. And you're also going to need evidence that you and your fiancé have met each other in person within two years before you file your K-1 visa. So you're going to have boarding passes. On your cover sheet, you'll put number whatever, boarding passes, uh, hotel receipts, um, dinner dates. And, and when you go out to dinner... Print, use your credit card, Mr. Sponsor, Miss, Miss, Miss Sponsor, and print those credit card receipts and include those in your K-1 visa package and list that on your K-1 visa cover sheet. Now, immigration, they also say that uh, if an in-person meeting within two years would ca cause extreme hardship or violate strict traditions of your fiancé's foreign culture, you know, religious culture, whatever, uh, they say they can maybe get a waiver for your meeting in person, but I have never once seen that ever happen. In nine years of processing K-1 visas, I have never once ever seen an approval for a couple who are claiming a cultural reason why they can't meet each other in person. So meet each other in person, okay? Then on the on your cover sheet, you know, you've included all this information, uh, and then at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and give you a, a, a template as an example on how to put a cover sheet together. And then you sign and date your full name. So if your full name is Billy Bob Jones, you sign it Billy Bob Jones. You don't sign it Billy Jones. You sign your full name and date it in black ink. And then don't forget to thank USCIS for taking their time to process and adjudicate your K-1 visa. Remember, this cover letter should be the first part of your application for your K-1 visa. So your cover, letter, your cover letter will be the first part, okay? Now, right here, I'm gonna put a, 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 t a public template as an idea that you can use to start your K-1 visa cover letter with. Use it as an example. Um, I give a live stream. I do a live stream with Karina Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Central Time. I give you all this free advice on how to process a K-1 visa, green card, tourist visa, spousal visa, etc. And also, as a reminder, don't forget, uh, put a disclaimer on your cover letter that all the documents that you have included, okay, are, are you know, they haven't been doc doctored in any way. So the, the, the correct verbiage for that will be 
all of the above documents uh, are true and unaltered copies that have been dated, executed, and translated, if, if applicable. Please note originals are available upon request. And I can be contacted at, you can put your mailing address in there, you can put your phone number in there, should there be any questions or requests for additional information, which is a RFE. Thank you kindly for your time and consideration in this matter, signed the petitioner. And if you can, bring the cover letter to uh, your beneficiary's home country and have your beneficiary sign it too. But if you can't do that, don't worry about it. It's all good. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you at the next live stream. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye.